Hi everybody, welcome back and if you're new here, my name is Pratiksha Bakrola and I make videos about lead code solution and system design concepts. If you are into that sort of thing, hit the subscribe button and the bell button. Now let's dive into today's problem. Merge two sorted lists. You are given the heads of two sorted linked lists, list one and list two. Merge the two lists in one sorted list and the list should be made by splicing together the nodes of the first two lists. Return the head of the merged link list. So here, as you can see, we have two lists, list one and list two, and we have to use these existing nodes from these two lists and create one sorted list. And we have to return the pointer to the head node. So for example, the list is one, two, four, and one, three, four, then we want to return one, one, two, three, four, four. But if both the lists are empty, then we just have to return an empty list. And if one list is empty and the second list have value, then we have to return the pointer to the list which has the values. Okay, now let's dive into our solution. So this is our list one and this is our list two and we have to return a head of a merged sorted list. So let's create the head called sorted list and let's point it to a dummy node minus one. Okay, it's just a dummy node. So we also need another pointer to traverse through the link list. So let's create a temporary uh, pointer called temp and point it to the same dummy node. Now let's write the code for this portion. List node sorted list equal to new list node of minus one. That is our dummy node. List node temp equal to sorted list. That is also pointing to our dummy node. As long as the list one and list two have values, we will compare the values from both the list and whichever is smaller, we will bring that into our sorted list. So let's code that while loop. While list one not equal to null and list two not equal to null. This will check whether list one have value and list two have values. Now let's compare the value from list one and list two. If list one dot value less than list two dot value. Now let's compare the elements of list one and list two and whichever is the smaller element, we wanna bring that into our sorted list. List one of value, which is one, and list two dot value, which is currently pointing at two. So one less than two. So this condition is now satisfied. So we wanna bring this one to here. For that, we will point, we will create a pointer from here to this node. So that is temp.next equal to list one. Okay. Now, the list one doesn't start here anymore, right? We wanna break down this pointer and we wanna start list one from here. So, list one equal to list one dot next, okay? And we no longer wanna point temp to the dummy node. We wanna move the point to the latest node because we're traversing, right? So we will break this, this pointer from here and create another pointer that will point temp also to the last node. Temp is equal to temp of next. Now let me clean this up for our second iteration, right? Well, let's just rewrite this so that it's easier for you to understand. Let's reevaluate this loop, list1.value, which is two, and list2.value, which is 
also two. All right, so two, two less than two. So this is not true. Two is not less than two. Um, and that's why we will have to create an else part. We will take this element from list two and move it on the sorted list. So we will create a pointer from here, from here to this node, and we will break this pointer temp and move it also to this node. And our list two will no longer start from here. It will start here. Okay, so let's go ahead and write the code for that. If this condition is not satisfied, we will create an else bracket. We will say temp dot next, which is this was the temp originally, and then temp dot next, which is equal to list two. Okay, and then we want to point, we want to break this pointer and make the list two point to this next node. So list two equal to list two dot next. And we also want to move temp from pointing here to the next node. So let's say temp equal to temp dot next. All right. Now, if you can see here, this line is repeated here in the if condition as well and the else condition as well. So what we can do is to not write redundant code and write it outside of this condition. That way, it applies to if condition as well as the else condition. Now let's go ahead and clean up this diagram one more time. Okay, so our list one is still the same. Let's go ahead and do another iteration and make sure that we have covered all the edge cases. So right now um, we will go back to this condition while loop list one is not equal to null it has value and list two also has value so we will go to if condition list one dot value which is two and list two dot value which is equal to four so two is less than four in that case this condition is satisfied so temp is equal to temp dot next so this is the new pointer we are creating and then list one is equal to list one dot next that means we're breaking this pointer and creating a new pointer to point to the next node okay and we are moving the temp to the next element so we are no longer pointing temp here temp will be pointing to the same element this one okay so let's go ahead and clean that up one more time okay so this is what our uh, state of list one and list two and sorted list looks like for the next iteration so let's go ahead and traverse through the while loop one more time so list one is not null yes there is value list two is not null yes there is value if list one less than list two so four less than four that is not true. And that's why it will go in the else part. Temp.next equal to list two. So we are creating another pointer from here to the first node of the list two. And then list two is equal to list two.next, which means we are breaking this pointer and creating a new pointer to the next node. And moving the temp is equal to temp.next, meaning moving the temp to point to the last node. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean that up one more time. This is what this list one, list two, and sorted list looks like for the next iteration. So let's go ahead and go back to our while loop. List one is not null and list two is not null. So let's compare the elements. List one is four um, and list two dot value is equal to six. So four is less than six, which is true. So we are gonna go ahead and execute the statements in the if condition, temp dot next is equal to list one. So this is where the temp is pointing right now. Temp dot next is equal to list one. So this is the new pointer and list 
1 is equal to list 1 dot next so there is nothing next so now list 1 is equal to null okay now temp is equal to temp dot next so temp is no longer pointing here and temp is also pointing here okay so if you so if we go ahead and clean this up now our next iteration looks like okay so as you can see now our list one is null and list two still have value so in that case we no longer need to do any comparison we can simply point the last node to the beginning of the list two because all the elements in list two are sorted as well so let's go ahead and code for that portion so it will be if list two is not equal to null so only if the list two is not null then we can point the next pointer to the beginning of the list two so temp dot next is equal to list two now it could also be the case that the list one have value but list two got empty so in that case we got to account for that as well the else, else part else if list one is not equal to null then we do temp dot next is equal to list one so now if you remember we have to return the head of the sorted list so if you recall we had to return a pointer head pointer of the sorted list so in the beginning we created the sorted list and we pointed it to a dummy node so we no longer need to send the dummy node we simply will point the sorted list to the actual node and return the results so we can simply return sorted lit list dot next and submit if you were able to understand that give me a thumbs up and say yes in the comments below and if you have any question feel free to list that in the comments as well i'll make sure to get back to you on those if you are interested in doing more lead code problems the playlist is linked here and if you are interested in more system design concepts the playlist is listed here thank you so much for watching 